Hey everybody, this is Joby and um, today we're going to go to a place where you don't have to farm for reagents. Well, you sort of have to farm because you need to have Telvar stones to, to buy this. But the thing is, it's super easy to get Telvar. I mean, all you need to do is um, come to Imperial City and uh, LFG or just do all the quests in here. And then when you get your Imperial Merit, you will be able to buy what I'm going to show you. Alright, so I have a 20,000 Telvar on me right now. I would not dare go out into the city because I'd get killed and then I'd lose 10,000 of it. So uh, as an aside, I saw the uh, Tianlin that does the uh, data mining and she had 500,000 Telvar and she got killed in Imperial City and lost 250,000. So, oh, hopefully that was the PTS. I don't know. But um, let's go this way. Now we're at the bank. If you look on the map, you can see I'm this way, so it'll be to my left, all right? Wait, left? No, right, the other left. So we just go this way from the flame, from the uh, burner, and we're gonna run all the way this way. That's okay, because I have the Ring of the Wild Hunt, and I can just motor through this. It's all the way at the end, and it's the, uh, the Telvar Merchant. Oh my, he's gone, where did he go? Oh, hello. Tunbom Kaz. That's our friend. Okay, so we're going to go here. I was now, these are the things I'm talking about. Okay, so there's a lot of different stuff. My armor is very broken. Wow. 1,514. So you can buy, you know, Lorcan's Tears, Rubidite, Alcarest, Ancestor Silk, Rubido Leather. Um, not cheap. And then you can get the Ziven Augur Rune Boxes. But with this, remember I said the Superior Imperial Reward, Superb Imperial Reward. I'm going to buy one of those just as a gambling thing. Uh, I have one of them. I have the one that I wanted. Uh, sometimes you get the Ziven Polymorph, but let's see if I can get the other one. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Waxed apo Apothecary Parcel. Now, I'm going to get, uh, how many will I get? Maybe... 10 for now all right so i just spent 5,000 telvar now let's look what we got let's see go into inventory they don't stack and uh first we'll first well this is my um uh, armed cops of the powerful assault not collected excellent so you know you get a lot of gear out of that even if you don't get the um what you wanted so it doesn't matter okay hold on now these don't stack, so if you have inventory problems, you're gonna have to uh, make sure you have a character with a lot of inventory. Now I'm gonna open it up. Look at that. Three blue intimola, three cornflower, three imp stool, three lady smock, three mountain flower, three nern root. It's just like a, a survey, basically. Well, if you, not now, not these days, but you know, maybe if you just went farmed, okay? So I'm getting a lot of the flowers that I would want, you know, uh, not this one. Lady, uh, Water Hyacinth, definitely. Let's open it up. Columbine, yes. And, uh, Water Hyacinth. I'm always looking for Lady Smock, Water Hyacinth, and, uh, Cornflower. Lady Smock. There it is, Cornflower, Lady Smock, Mountain Flower, Columbine. I mean, it's definitely worth it if you have the Telvar, you know, if you're not saving it up to buy something else. It's uh, worth it. And if you have ESO Plus, of course, it's great because it's uh, none of your none of your uh, bag space will be taken up with that. It'll all just go into your craft bag. Now, this guy also sells other things besides that, the waxed apothecary parcel. And this is a way a lot of the way a lot of um, PVP people who don't like to farm, they'll come to to Imperial City. And they get Telvar stones, and then they will uh, buy these so they can make potions. You can also get Hakiejos for 5,000, which is pretty good. Um, you know, and some of the other ones. You can see Rapport, that's pretty expensive. Okay, the storage chests, I already have all of them, so I'm not even allowed to buy them. Dragon Scoot, this is the uh, things for the tort to up your um, War Alliance line, your rank. And then these are the 
sigils that you need to buy to create the rune boxes. We did this before with the Timber Crow costume. Uh, this is the, the first one is the Rage of the Reach emote. You need 30. For 50, you get the uh, Timber Crow costume. And with this one, it's uh, 20 merits. And you get the Siege Master's Closed Helm. I might buy that. And then the, uh, the last one is another 50. It's a Siege Master's Uniform. I'll probably get this helmet. I already have it. And then, uh, not today, but, you know, just show everybody what it is. And just start over again. Because I've already got the, the uh, Timber Crow costume twice. And uh, just get a little variety. Although I could sell it. But that's okay. So, I just think that uh, these waxed apothecary satchels especially are very worth it. I'll buy another one of these. Because I'm a degenerate gambler. Let's see what we got. Oh, room box. No. But I'm getting, um, you know, armor that's never been collected before. And that's always good. So this guy over here, let's see what he's got. He'll have some equipment. Uh, Black Rose, Galarian's Revenge, Imperial Physique, Meritorious Service, Phoenix, Powerful Assault, Reactive, Shield Breaker, Throughs of the Harbinger. I'll buy a Harbinger one. Why not? Let's see what we got. I like to collect gear. I think it's very fun. And um, I do not have them. So all in all, I got three pieces of gear and a bunch of reagents. And um, I only spent uh, about 10000 11000 Telvar. You know, you have it. You collect it. It's going to sit in your bank. This is what you spend it on. This is what it's for. Just make sure you don't carry it around with you because you will get ganked. Um, I know I've made a video about this before, but I do think it's something that's really great. You know, if you need, you know, oh, I'm out of Columbine, you can come in here and do that. Because sometimes it just, it doesn't pop up, you know, the one that you want. So just remember, all you need to do to get into Imperial City is you go to campaigns, you press A, you choose Imperial City, and I just come into CP Imperial City. It doesn't matter which one you want to come into, but... Um, you know, it's your choice, but they're both really quick to get in. You press A and it'll give you, you know, it'll say, please wait. And then when it queues up, I mean, I haven't had to wait to get into Imperial City in, I don't know, two years, something. Uh, you know, it's usually pretty dead in here. Hopefully we can change that, get some people coming in, having fun. We're going to come in here today, run around, have a good time. Uh, there's lots of achievements and everything, but... Uh, even if you don't really like it, if you're getting the Siege Master costume, you can, um, you know, all the Telvar that you collect, you get 200 Telvar a day. So, if you come in here and do the quest, and then you get the 200 Telvar a day, you know, that's 1,400. That's almost three satchels. And you can just keep buying them, and then you'll have lots of reagents. So, definitely, uh, you know, get a lot of stuff done, and I think that's, uh, that's really fantastic. All right, so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see. If you have any ideas about a video, if I like your video, if I like your idea, I just might make a video. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. And if you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity, just like the channel. And we have... 494 total members with no members pending and 59 members online. Lots of friendly, helpful people. All you have to do is ask and chat. Somebody will help you for sure. All right. So until that time, let's get paid.